Man, all right. So yesterday, man, I made a video about uh this Jake Paul, uh Justine Paradise sexual allegations, you know, the thing that's going on here. Now, being a week out from Jake Paul's big fight, you know what I'm saying? This would be there'd be a lot of people that say, "Oh, this is just clout chasing." You know what I'm saying? And all oh, this, is, you know, did it really happen? And he say, she say, all this stupid shit. And you know, he, he, we, we know. I made my video the other day. What I said in my video stands. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it, and it ain't got nothing to do with whether it happened or not. My thing is this. If it did happen, you know what I'm saying? I understand that you, tr you got trauma and all that stuff. And you, you're afraid and fear and all that. But man, look, we supposed to be the top of the motherfucking food chain, all right? We supposed to be able to, we supposed to be the ones that, that could deal with problems. Human beings have the ability to critical fucking think and, and pull themselves out of the mud when we at our when we at our lowest point. Okay? Whether you were scared, fear of embarrassment, or any of that shit. And I'm gonna go ahead and highlight the word embarrassment. Because why would you be embarrassed? To shine a light on a motherfucker who did something wrong to you. You understand what I'm saying? I know plenty of women who would have beat Jake Paul's ass if he would have tried anything of the nature in that room. Motherfuckers wouldn't, it wouldn't even got down to that. Cause when I'm telling you, if it had went down the way she said it went down, him forcing himself on her, her words exactly, Jake Paul fucked her face. You know what I'm saying? Then if it went down like that with any other woman, man, Jake would have been body slammed in that bitch. It'd have been a tussle. He it'd have been a, a rough and rumble situation. Motherfuckers would have came busted up in there to see what happened, and they'd have seen them two tussling in the story. What the hell is going on? Instead, all she did was accepted it and then let, let continue to stay at the house with said motherfucker and her friends. And 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 her one friend, Michael, didn't do nothing to stand up for her. Come on, dude. So anyway, Jake responds back with uh, this tweet, basically stating that uh, you know he he it's happened before. You know, typical celebrity shit. This ain't the first time. It ain't gonna be the last. Allegations are false. He wouldn't do anything like that. He made sure to let people know that he had a fight coming up as well. So yeah, <laughs> you know. Uh, you know, got to get that fight promo up in there. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, uh, you can see right here for yourself. I ain't going to read it for you. You know, it, of course he's going to deny. It. You know what I'm saying? What else is he supposed to do? You know, uh, 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 being a person who has literally been in the spotlight for, oh, I'm going to say about 10 years now. Since he was 16, he, it's come to that, you, you, that, that he, it's, it comes with the territory, right? It definitely comes with the territory. But my thing is this, the comments and the, the, when you read them, you, of course you got your ones that's like, oh yeah, the, he did it and whatnot. But I, I, when I go through them, I see a bunch of crazy shit, mixed reactions. People who believe Jake, people who believe Justine. The thing is, we are never, we will never know the truth. We are just us watchers we look in on the situation give our opinion and that's that nobody in this comment section should be attacked or, or or whatnot for what they believe nobody who makes a video about this situation should be attacked or whatever for what they believe like i said i watched the fucking uh what's in there i watched the video and i didn't feel like she was telling me a story of how she was assaulted i felt like she was telling me a bad sex story you know details like oh he only lasted 20 seconds and oh uh you know he he fucked my face and we you know it, it didn't seem like it was a big they made fun of me because of my old phone man bro look traumatized embarrassed afraid whatever the way you overcome that shit is by not letting it fester for two years until you just can't take it no more until you've beaten yourself down into the fucking mud and knew the only way you figure to bring yourself back out is to come out with the shit now. If you won't, don't want to go through that shit, you need to do something at the moment. 
You don't spend another now. You don't spend a night in a house where you've been assaulted. You don't go back to a house where you've been assaulted. You don't associate with friends who are friends with the guy who assaulted you. That's not the way things work. You don't put yourself in situations like that and then expect things to do. You don't dress up and get all pretty and frilly and whatnot and expect not to attract the attention of a man or whoever you trying to attract. And then when they come at you, you know, it, 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 it wasn't what you thought. I don't know what you expected when you met this guy, but I can tell you what he expected when he met you. Shit, if you didn't... It, it, if you didn't think that it was going to happen, then you're just as naive. If you didn't think that you something, when you walked up to that damn mansion and you realized that you had to go through a motherfucking DNA test to get in that motherfucker, you probably should have turned around. No, Justine, I'm not saying that I don't believe you. And I'm not saying that I do believe you. I'm not saying that I believe Jake or that I believe, uh, uh, don't believe him. What I am saying is, as a human being, you should have made the decision to pull this motherfucker's card when it went down. You need to assess the people you hang around with, man. Because if your friend Gall, or if your friend Michael is only going to just walk over there and say, "Hey, Jake, I heard that you know you you, you kind of uh, hump Justine's face. He's like, That's not cool, bro." Just wanted you to know that. Well, okay, bro. That, I, I'm glad I know that now. But you know, whatever. You could. I mean, shit. But it, it, I talked to him. So what? Yeah, that's it. Water under the bridge now. Nah. Probably it's a possible chance that somebody set your ass up. You knew? Did you not know that when you was going over to a celebrity's house? I mean, come on, man. It's a lot of fucking shit that you can uh, hip yourself to to keep yourself out of these situations on both ends, on both Jake and her end. This shit makes no fucking sense. And these allegations that pop up from the past on a man this shit, or on a woman, you know, it, it, this shit's, come on, man. That's why I'm asking why wait? Why the hell wait until this shit goes down and, and then three or four years later, oh, well, shit. You know, it is about this time where Jake Paul finna get a lot, a, lot, a lot of money coming in. And he got a lot of popularity. I saw this chick's YouTube uh, uh, page. She got about, what, just over 11,000 just, just 11, subscribers? Come on, man. Attention and clout, man, that's all this world live. We live in a world of social media. Attention and clout are the keys to success in this motherfucking business. Everybody knows that. The fact that you choose to bring real life scenarios into this to get to what you want out of this situation, that's on you. This should not be a public media thing, man. These are people living their lives. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, there's no reason for anybody to sit up here and have to feel like they are the victim when they really have been victimized, man. Fuck what you mean you scared and embarrassed. Fuck that. Go tell that motherfucker what he need to be told right then and there. Don't wait two, three years later and try to bring it back up because this is what you're going to be met with. And you got people who don't, who you don't even know nor even care about defending your ass. Most motherfuckers probably can relate to you and they probably understand which where you're coming from. But what if you sitting here lying? All I can say, Jake, for me to you, brother, fight. Fight it. You say you're going to fight it right here and you're going to fight it. Man, look, oh, you can either fight it or I can tell you you can go ahead and give her what she wants. Go ahead and give her a million dollars. It ain't like it's going to hurt your checkbook. Chunk her a million dollars so she can go ahead and, 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 and do what she need to do and she'll be fine. I guarantee you it'll be y'all. We'll see y'all later on down the line on TMZ having a fucking latte on the strip. Because you know what? This shit is ridiculous. Yeah, this is this is these this, this is a story that has been told all too many times in the last couple of years. From Deshaun Watson to Jake Paul to any many other motherfuckers that have been said said to have done things that they 
allegedly didn't do or did do. He say, she say is a motherfucker. And that shit not only ruins fucking the, uh, uh, the, the appearance or the lives of the people you saying said it, but shit, what does that make about you? What does it say about you? What kind of person that you are? That you can, that you had to, you know, wait this long to push that shit off your shoulder. Man, I'm gonna tell you right now. Motherfucker do anything to me that I had to, felt that I needed to wait to, re, to respond. When I do respond, it's not gonna be the kind of response like this, bro. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Because shit, I I cancel that shit, bro. I ain't even fucking finna wait. You wrong me, which many motherfuckers have tried to wrong me. They find out exactly where the hell they end up at on that motherfucking ground, looking up at me, bending a fucking knee, nigga. Learn fucking karate, invite his ass back out on the date, and drop kick his ass in the mouth. I guarantee Jake ain't gonna wait that long to fucking send, uh, 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 send a fucking uh, uh, lawyer to your doorstep to sue your ass for assault. But you gonna wait two years after you say that this nigga allegedly shoved his dick in your mouth and came in 30 seconds. And then you had, you just felt like shit. What was you laying with? Well, you were laying up with your boyfriend and all of a sudden and he, he, he proposed to you and you was like, oh, I can't do it because I was assaulted or allegedly assaulted. We don't know the truth and we ain't gonna find out till it's done. Like I said, I ain't saying I don't believe, I ain't saying I do. I just think it's shit that you had to wait this fucking long. To hell with fear, to hell with what only fear is a word of the future. You ain't got nothing to fear until the shit is actually there in your fucking face. So why not go back and just give the man to just rip his ass a new one at that moment? Social media is a motherfucker. This man has showed his house to everybody. Of course, we all know what it looked like. These people down here in these comments, they going to war for motherfuckers who don't even care. They going to war with each other for people who don't even care about them. But you motherfuckers can actually come and say in my comments that I'm doing a lot of wrong to basically saying that help people make people not believe her. No, I'm speaking my opinion. I don't fucking control how other people think i'm not a puppet master i noticed that over these last couple years there have been a lot of bullshit ass oh hey cold cases cold fucking cases that just pop up and oh yeah yeah this happened to me five six years ago 20 years ago and i want this guy to pay for it now really where's the proof oh i got it all right here well, this really don't say much. I mean, damn. Come on, dude. If I'm finna ruin a motherfucker's life, nigga, I'm better. You better believe that ain't nobody gonna question what, why I'm doing what I'm doing. What I, what the shit that I bring forth is gonna be enough to say, okay, shit, nigga, that's it. Not just me coming out later and then not even really selling the fact that it even happened. Like dude said on here, man. Like, what he say? It, it, it felt like. She was hyping like she was getting ready to release an album. You know what I mean? And like I said, shit, it felt like to me that she was just telling the bad sex story. Shit, motherfucker, she went over there. This nigga wasn't up to par. And yeah, I, I mean, I don't find the fact I don't find sexual assault funny at all. What I did find funny is the fact that she said that he just uh, jumped up, unzipped his pants and just literally grabbed her head and started fucking her face. That right there just sent me. I'm like, seriously? That's the best way you could have put that? Well, this is what happened. And you didn't bother to snip down on his ass? <laughs> He'd have got the fuck up real quick. You didn't bother to scream, holler for Michael, who would have, if he was your friend, would have came to your rescue? I mean, come on, man. Don't let this shit, don't put yourself in these situations. Oh, how was she supposed to know that he was going, bro? Why would she go and walk around? I mean, hell, she already clearly said that she had been making out with him and everything. What the hell you think is going to happen? Clearly, she hadn't had much sex in her life if she don't believe that when you are having sex, you, you, you don't smell or taste anything. 
because from what from from history tells it, when motherfuckers is having sex, you see it gets sweat real sex. Motherfucker get some real fucking going on. It's gonna be a lot of sweat. It's gonna be a, some smells. It's gonna be some licking and some tasting. You gonna accentuate every sense in, uh, uh, during some sex. If she felt that that's the only way that you get so then she must have then, then the nigga must have had sweaty nuts because she say oh it smells and tastes and all this stuff, bro. Nigga must have been on. Nigga must just got back from the gym or something. Cause it's it's just it's just ridiculous, man. I just had to make this video because like I say, man, this boy Jake say he gonna fight. He ain't got time for that right now. He got big business to take care of. Man got a fight on on the way, and it just all it's just more proof that this coming out now just is just clout it just feels like clout you let me know how you feel down below don't be coming up in here with that bullshit oh man look you know, it's hard for men and look i get it i understand how hard it is for for, for, for to be assaulted and whatnot and you know what i'm saying i can sympathize i truly can shit when everybody went through some type of bullying when they was when they was young shit or some type of assault or whatnot motherfuckers used to try to pick on my big ass until then, but what? Guess what happened? Guess what happened? Motherfucker go up, motherfucker go down. Bodies to the motherfucking floor. Talk shit now. I ain't finna wait two years to do it. I'ma do it right now. You wanna keep running your mouth? I got you. Boom. Talk shit now. Ladies and gentlemen, drop a like on the video if you feel what I'm talking about, man. If you. Uh, how you feel about this situation? You think it's just cloud chasing? You think it's serious? You go watch the chick's video. See for yourself. Like I say, I can care less. I don't care if she's telling the truth or not. They celebrities, they go through this shit all the time. This is the situations that they put themselves in. Like I said in my video the other day, you want to, men, dudes, guys, fight back. Y'all got cameras and phones and shit too. She using his pictures and text messages and videos to, to, uh, uh, to fucking... Uh, incriminate your ass when when females come around y'all y'all better start whipping out y'all's phones and having them on record so that if anything happens you can say well this is my side of the story you know what i'm saying the, the stop trying to stop waiting for these ladies to come and, and cry victim and then and shit had it be ready for them she pop up saying hey i was sexually assaulted you pop up saying shit i got the pit message to say she was harassing me so what this shit this is what happened this is what happened well damn these don't look like the same videos or they do look like the same video somebody lying come on man i'm done with, I, i'm done with it y'all can take it i can do what y'all want these like i say these people don't give a fuck about us so pfft, i i just find it crazy that yet another past sexual allegation has sprung up Cause that's the whole point of this situation. I don't care about the people involved. It's crazy how they wait till fucking years later to bring the shit up. Fear, embarrassment. Come on now, those are things that would come. That's that shit that you worry that comes from your peers, motherfucker. If I've been wronged, I don't give a fuck about fear and embarrassment. Motherfucker gonna hear what I got to say. And that's all I got to say about that, man. Y'all can take it with y'all. Take it how y'all want, dude. This is absolute shit, and it needs to be stopped, dude. Straight up.